everyone and welcome back to another video for today. We'll be vlogging around Mount Tamarine, Beachmont, Ross's Lookout, and Hinze or Heinze Dam. I'll be vlogging with my phone plus my camera for today. Let's go. next look out which will give us a little bit of a different view it's about 39 to 40 minutes from here and it's gonna still be a very mountain ranges drive because <sighs> it's not that cold inside the car it's colder outside we're done with Robert Soter's look out, we took a lot of pictures and there's quite a lot of people now because mas marami mga jumpers or mga paragliders and we're heading down to Rossin's lookout so let's go if you're concerned about the toilets just like Mina mentioned ko na um, it's very very near to the lookout I don't know, there, there the landscape dito that was it. Convoy, yeah, we're the fourth car in the convoy. Meron pa sa likod. And I don't know why, but I think it's just to guide everybody safe to the other side. It's one way. You know, interesting. Miguel na si truck. So this one's done. He's right over there. And oh, medyo mahaba na yung pila nila dito. Now it's their turn. One lane na naman. Oh, look at the view. I don't know if you can see it yet, but we're almost there. So we're to a picnic basket. Tiny tiny one. Actually I don't know how to so work. So we've got some mandarins, grapes and biscuits and just water. Because the next place we're gonna go is a dam and it has a cafe. So we're gonna be having some coffee there and maybe some toast or something. And our drone is really near in the show. Maybe we should take a video of the places more. Yeah. Did you bring extra batteries? Let's eat. I'm having grapes. Mm, 
the green ones. Gusto gusto ko din green. He likes the green ones as well. Yeah. And tummies. Tastes like cotton candy. Maybe these are the cotton candy kinds. I'm not sure, but yeah, they're good, really good. Hmm. It's a nine drone. Can't see it. I have really bad eyes. I can't see. And the wind is blowing perfectly, so it's not not gonna be hard for the drone to fly. <laughs> farmhouse and supposedly this area is for um people uh paragliding there is an activity like that here but today it's monday and nobody's here and that's because i think the cafe is closed if the cafe was open then probably there will be more people right now there's around eight or six of us here at the spot so this is the flying bean cafe it's just a regular cafe it's a normal stop but it's kind of special because of the beautiful view it offers behind is the parking space so if there are going to be a lot of people there's ample parking space right over there is the rest stop there's the toilet um, there are barbecue pits and some tables right there so if you want to have a picnic you can definitely do that i think we are allowed picnic now since the restrictions have been eased from may to may 18. so by dinner okay let's move over to the cafe no food or drinks to be consumed at the cafe but since the restrictions have been eased uh, in Queensland at least we're allowed 10 people in a cafe provided we follow social distancing but I think this cafe can probably hold more people Hey babe. Nothing. Do we have more grapes? No. Can I have more grapes? Ladybug. Oh, don't enter my shirt. Oh, no, 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 no. It's a ladybug. Okay, Bye. so we are at the St. Duncan Park. It's kind of like a hill on top of Lower Beachmont, which is part of Gold Coast. And there's a oh, he's coming. And I don't know why he wanted to come here, but now I realize there is a view of the Gold Coast skyline. 
kapatid ko so he was messaging me so yeah he wanted to see that you wanted to see that no babe the gold coast thing so probably you'll see the Hinze Dam later. The siguro yun yung part of the. I don't know. I don't know if you can see it, but the the water part there. We will be going there. Are you trying to check if pwedeng maglipad? Okay, so. So this is Sid Duncan Park over there. You can see some white, small things. That is Gold Coast. So we're very near to Gold Coast. And then there. Oh, he's gonna fly the drone because we are allowed. Plus, we have a little bit of time. Yeah, I know. Dalin mo na lang yan sa car, babe. Thank you. We are heading there and it will be 11 kilometers from this stop and we're heading there right now so let's go okay we are here oh my init, my init nga dito. so we just left my jacket in there Here at the cafe. I want a toasty swivel. Maybe a brownie. Okay, so we had a bit of rest. Did you alive my face? face? Uh, you can sit in the cafe already. So. Most people are just taking their food um, out. So here we are at the Hindi Dam. Okay, super bright, but it's now 3:30 p.m. Tapos na kami magikot sa dam, but we still want to go to that area. So that one's the bridge, and it will show you, you know, overlooking the dam. The other side here just shows you one part. You can go down to it. And so I'm waiting for my husband because he's gonna get extra batteries for his drone because he used up all the three batteries already. Um, yeah, pinagdala ko siya ng tubig because we're gonna refill our water right over here. So there's a water refill station if you ran out of water and you need extra water. So there is a refill station in here. <sighs> Not sure if they have water today, but oh, there it is. I'm <laughs> 
Oh, that. <laughs> so this is the ah, grab a fish way. Yeah, but what about that? Is this so it's not entry? Anyway, the other side of the dam looks like this. So kapag nag ano sila ng water, jan. Pag magbibili sila ng water. here it says it's okay for recreational fishing um I'm walking slowly so you can actually see and i'm vlogging in my phone right now there you go this is the middle it's very quiet there you go okay it's now 4 p.m and Hindi sa dam is supposed to close now, pero hindi pa tao dumarating. I'm going to charge my phone. Super low but na. Hindi ba lang din na ubus na lahat ng kanyang battery para sa kanyang drone. Nagrefill kami to bag but it's warm so ayon kung ano magkulo down ito sa loob ng sasakyan. We still have a little bit from the one that we had. It's good to come on a weekday because then less people, less traffic, um, can go around easier. So I am. It was good that we came on a Monday. Sabi nung um, barista don. On Sundays, there's around 200 people, and they can't even park. They just turn around and. Not even. I know he can't even lang sila makaikot because there's so much people and the parking space is not ample for him. But yeah. So anyway, I think I might close the vlog here. Maybe. Sige, magko close ako dito. Pero mamaya pag may makita pa ako, I'm just gonna continue vlogging. So anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you like it. If you do, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. I'll see you again next time. So then, stay pretty. Bye. Thank you for watching the vlog.